This resource contains three end of unit assessments, three different differentiated workbooks, and an answer sheet as well. It's also available in lesson by lesson format, so 26 lessons in total. It will be up to you how you uh, teach that. But here with the workbooks, so the easy one, we've got um, obviously we've got uh, 230 tasks in total. We've got lessons on validation. So it covers pretty much all the programming units in GCSE spec and RGCSE as well. So each of the tasks has a video attached with it and also a help sheet that goes with that specific task. Now the video will go through that specific task and explains how it was solved step by step. Now, each lesson also has a video of the theory. Now, you can use this if it's distant learning, but if you're doing it in classroom, I would recommend that you don't use these videos. You just um, uh, you teach it yourself. Um, but these tasks, uh, videos can also uh, be used to differentiate. Now, this is um, the easy workbook, which covers everything. Now, the medium one is, uh, well, the hard one or the medium one, so they're they have the same questions, however, they're slightly different. For example, this is the hard one. Now, the hard one does not have any help sheet. So it shows them how the program should look like when it's running, but it does not have a help sheet. So this is this can be used for A-level students or for uh, very bright students who are really good at programming. And the Medium workbook also has the same tags. However, it is different to the other two because it has so it has help sheets, but it does not have the videos. So it will depend on the ability of students. So you can decide um, which workbook to give it to which student. But again, you can do it lesson by lesson if you don't want to do it in a workbook format. Now, this is um, these lessons can all be used with Key Stage 3, Key Stage 4, and Key Stage 5. So it depends on which question you want to take for which class. Uh, but the first about 13 lessons can easily be used with key stage 3. Uh, and then um, last few lessons um, have a lot of challenging tasks, so I would recommend just keeping it for key stage 4, and some of them will be used for key stage um, 5 as well. Uh, some of the challenges um, are really difficult to solve, so they can use that. Now, all of these, so after every about 7 to eight lessons. There is an end of unit assessment that you can use as well. And these end of unit assessments are Microsoft form, which you, which are multiple choice questions. Um, but some of them, they have to type the answer info. So these questions can be used if you have Microsoft form or your student have Microsoft form in your school. But even if they don't, you can still use them. So students can still answer them and then they will get the result and the answers right away. However, you will not be able to see what they got unless they sent you a screenshot of what they got. Uh, there's also a duplicate link where you can um, change the questions if you want to. Uh, 